Hi, this video is, is about a uh, Mendini MV200 violin. I just bought it last week. Uh, I have never touched violin before. Um, this violin comes with violin self, a nice case uh, with protective cloth, extra strings, an extra bridge, um, a piece of raw thing. Above, uh, I want to protect, uh, provide a, a object, objective uh, reviews uh, for this violin to the beginners who are struck, struggling to make uh, a decision which uh, on which item to buy. Uh, to save time, I only talk about the concerns I have about this violin. First, uh, my first concern is the the pack slippery problem. You no, know, the strings are very loose. After you, you tighten the the packs, it will become loose very soon, like 20 minutes. Uh, it's very hard to play on uh, on loose strings. But I found a solution. You can when you tighten when 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 you tighten the the packs, not after. You can push push hard the, the pegs into the, the holes and then and then it can hold the position for many days. Uh, if you want it tighter you can put some powders or raw thing into the holes so it can can be tighter. Um, after after you tighten them, it, it sounds well. The second concern is the strings. And first, I thought the strings are terrible because they are loose. But after resolve the the um, pack slippery problem, I found um, it, the, the strings are sound just well. Uh, the third concern is the ball. This is my only complaint about this violin. Uh, before you you can make you before you can use it, you need to put some raw things on the horse hairs. Uh, but after even after I tighten the the horse hairs to the end, there's still some loose horse hairs. And some horses' hairs are very, very tight. Some are very loose. And when you use such bow to play on this violin, the sound, the sound, the sounds are, are not clear uh, with some noise. But if you use another, a better bow with um, with bleached horse hair. Uh, it sounds, it sounds very clear and uh, much better. The unbleached horse, horse here is not a bonus. It's it's not it's not good. Um, a better a better ball has a nice curve, nice horse hairs, and nice quality. Uh, Many players complained the, the the shoulder rest. It took me quite some time to figure out how to how to how to fix it. You need to use the end, not the middle, to grab to grab the the violin, and then tap it. It. It works fine just for me. I don't know why others complain. You put it here. It you need to use it to cooperate with the chain rest. You see? So you so it can free your left hand to move on the fingerboard forwards and backwards. Uh, since uh, I'm not a pro I cannot provide the um, 
comments about the the bridge and the sound quality. It, it's just loud enough. It's actually even louder than other violins I bought, I bought uh, later than this one. Mm, so I have to buy a, I have bought a, a mute just in case it will disturb my neighbors at night. Mm. The thing you need to, 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 to know is that it has four fine tuners. It's not, sep it's not separate, it's integrated into one, one part. So it's maybe a little difficult than the individual four fine tuners. Mm, but it, it's fine for me. Mm, my suggestion is you can use it for as a beginner, but uh, you'd better buy a new ball and probably a new uh, rosin because this rosin is very is not good. And, uh, I just paid eight dollars and bought a new rosin. It works much better than the old one. Uh, I hope this review helps. Uh, I will release some reviews about other violins. Uh, please subscribe my channel, Dami Ryan, to get notice. Thanks for watching.